with Margate, we stay in this caravan at a little village called Akel, four and a half miles from Margate. When I say we, I mean my family. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ron Watson. And this is my wife, Sheila. And our eldest son, John, who, at the time, was six and a half. And here's Tony, who was three and a half. Stephen, two and a half, was, at the time, the baby of the family. famous for holidays for nearly 200 years. There's something for everyone. Pulsating with life and laughter is the big heart of this five-in-one resort. Here, one captures the real holiday atmosphere. Margate offers to the visitor golden sands where you can relax in the sun. And for the more energetic, there are lots of sporting facilities. Shows also ring up the curtain on their own particular style of holiday entertainment with gay summer shows. And there are wide promenades and carefully planned landscape gardens. Yes, a holiday in Margate is truly a seaside holiday. in the water. And when the tide goes out, it leaves the mire dry. with its golden sands. Our boys, enjoying themselves on the beach, could be anybody's children. are certainly proving that the sea is not cold in September. In fact, it's warm enough for no clothes at all. And I helped out. 
to show them how it should be done. For those who like a more vigorous kind of holiday enjoyment, will find their needs amply fulfilled in the 20 acres of fun and laughter which Dreamland provides. Dreamland is festooned with its thrilling rides and sideshows. In fact, it lives up to the title as the famous playground of the South. a quiet stroll in the park. Margate is often called the garden in the Garden of England. Annually, over a quarter of a million flowering plants are grown in the 350 acres of the resort's parkland. The pier can offer trips on dazzling white steamers, leaving the pier head bound for Calais or Boulogne in France. Yeah. Cliftonville offers attractions such as the Arno puppets, seen here with the boys. Another big attraction at the Lido is the bathing pool. And if you get into difficulty, there's always a helicopter to the rescue. And for your pleasure, there's the Lido Theatre. And there's plenty of entertainment that Tony and Stephen are enjoying. The town. The town has quite a large shopping area. Although the shops are small and the streets are narrow, offering only one-way traffic. There is quite a big variety of shops to choose from, selling anything you wish to purchase.
example of the narrow streets. Some with very tall buildings. This is the square where you can get a bus to all nearby towns, such as Herne Bay, Ramsgate, Broadstairs and Canterbury. Not a bus, but our car to take us to Ramsgate. Here at Ramsgate, we found rows of amusements, such as bingo, hot dog stalls, cockle and wilk stalls, candy floss and ice cream. visited the harbour and spent two or three hours looking at the boats. Ramsgate Harbour is far superior to that of Margate Harbour, offering every craft you wish to think of. In fact, it's an artist's paradise. fishing, such as these boys and their catch. Ramsgate, that is, if you watch very closely, and I mean watch very, very closely, you might find a giant. That's not the giant, <laughs> that's John. But, uh, oh, it's, it's only Stephen and Tony. Yes. It's the model village at Ramsgate. One of the best attractions the visitor will find at Ramsgate. Certainly one of the most interesting days of our holiday. It's a charming creation of Tudor times in miniature with lovely rural settings and models designed to present exciting individual features along the winding pathways of the village.
a visit to Ramsgate Model Village will create a wonderful holiday memory for all.